Hello children. Welcome to English Grammar class. Today, let's talk about verbs. A verb is a word that shows an action. That means a word which tells you that what action is being done is called a verb. Like few examples are given here. Jumping girl. So the action done by this girl is jumping. So jumping is a verb. The baby sleeps. What is the baby doing? The baby sleeps. So sleeps is an action word. It's a verb. A man eats a burger. What is the man doing? He eats a burger. So eats is a verb. Now today we will learn about tenses. Tenses represent the time of the action which is indicated by the verb. So this means when the action has been done that time is defined by the tenses tenses play a vital role in english language with the help of tenses english becomes easy and clear to understand consistency in speaking is there and it also helps to express the event with proper verb tenses and with the help of tenses one can better communicate with the society now let's learn about the types of tenses tenses are of three types past present and future now let's learn what are these tenses firstly let's learn about present tense present tense tells us about the event which is happening now Right now something is happening that is the present tense like i am looking for bugs in the park so whatever you are doing right now that is the present tense the next is past tense past tense talks about the event that has already happened the time has already gone when you did the action so Here the example is I looked at the bugs in the park. Now at that time you were looking at the bugs. So it was happening then and there only. So that was the present tense. Now when the time has gone and you are talking about that event then it becomes the past tense. And the third type is the future tense. It is the tense which tells you about the event which is going to happen something which has not happened yet it will happen in the future like i will look for bugs tomorrow tomorrow that means which is going to come the next day so you are talking about an event which is going to happen so that is called the future tense now we will learn about each type of tense one by one so let's start with the present tense present tense can be in the four forms simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense and today in this video we will learn about the simple present tense so let's get started simple present tense tell something that happens again and again in the present like i play football every weekend so now this activity you are doing at every weekend so this is an action which you are repeating again and again that's why it is in the simple present tense thus the simple present tense is used to describe an action an event or condition that is occurring in the present or at the moment of speaking or writing like i play he or she plays and the simple present tense has only one word and that is the first form of the verb we use the first form of the verb to express the simple present tense like candy likes flowers so likes is talking about the simple present tense the flowers smell good S- 
smell this one word is telling us that it is the simple present tense mimi sings well sings this word tells us that it is in the simple present tense now let's look at the uses of present simple tense or the simple present tense simple present tense is used to express our habits and routines like i say i go to school every day it is my habit it is my routine so i go to school every day i take piano classes on saturdays he plays football every weekend so in all these sentences i'm talking about my habits and my routines secondly simple present tense helps in expressing the feelings or the things that you believe like i feel that i am going to pass the exam i feel i think it is a good idea i think the first form of the verb and it is talking about our feelings and the things we believe so it is a simple present tense and most importantly it talks about the true facts it talks about the universal truth something which cannot be changed like water boils at 100 degrees you cannot boil it less than that so it is a universal truth that water boils at 100 degree light travels at almost 3 lakh kilometers per second this is also a universal truth so you cannot change it that's why we have used the first form of the verb travels now let's move ahead and learn more about simple present tense as we know that we use the first form of the verb to express our simple present tense and for simple present tense we need to focus on our subject if our subject is a singular noun then we add s or es to the main verb or if it is he she or it like he likes eating fish likes i have added s to it she likes eating fish it likes eating fish or when i am saying i you we or they the subject is plural then i will not add any s or es to the main verb like i like playing football you like playing football we like playing football they like playing football so i have not added s to this main verb like i hope this must be clear to you all now let's see where to make these changes and how to make these changes for that let's look at these examples mary feeds her dog the main verb was feed and we have added s to the main verb feed because mary is singular Peter enjoys the food enjoy enjoys s has been added Tim always cooks the dinner cooks s has been added because Tim is singular now let's look at the other words Tim watches TV every night now children here Tim is same but we have added es why because in my verb there is ch at the end so when the subject is singular and your verb is having ch ss or sh at the end then you will add es otherwise s will be added like may usually dresses in pink dresses double s was there so we have added es bob never washes his car washes es has been added but when your main verb is ending with y then what will happen then we will convert y into i e s like 
The baby cries loudly. My main verb was cry, but I have removed y and I have added i e s. Similarly, Peter carries a heavy bag. Carry y. Y is there at the end of carry, so it has been removed, and we have added i e s. Tina dries the dishes every night. Dry has become dry. So in this way, y is removed and i e s is added to the main verb. I hope this must be clear to you all. Now let's see how do we use simple present tense for negative sentences. We add do not or does not to make the sentences negative. and we do not change the verb after do or does now let's look at the example mimi likes singing this is my simple present tense sentence and if i want to change it into negative sentence i will write mimi does not like singing i have not changed the verb i have not added s now I have just added does not to my sentence to make it a negative sentence. I hope the concept of simple present tense must be clear to you all and you all must have enjoyed it also. Thank you.